What's going on everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Amanda and we're talking today all about how to actually get people to do what you want them to do. I know this is a big topic that a lot of people are like, how do I get someone to do a favor for me or how do I get a client to say yes to my program? And what I've seen over the last couple months and I've done, totally done this myself as well until someone pointed it out to me that I've been so selfishly focused. Now, it's not a bad thing. We are literally humans. Like we only, we essentially do things 51% for ourselves, 49% for other people. Some people are a little bit, you know, on different spectrum. Some are 80, 20, whatever you are, whatever you want to call yourself. We are hard, hardwired as humans to actually give and it feels so good for us to give, but we also have to give to ourselves. We have to fill up our cups. We have to make sure that we're serving ourselves and we're, oh, what a cute puppy. It's so cute. So it's totally not a bad thing to want people to do things for us, for us to want to do things for ourselves. It's actually fundamentally in our DNA as humans to be selfish. We want to make sure that we're sleeping enough, we're getting enough rest, we're eating well enough that people can do things for us, that we don't have to do 100% of everything on our own. But we also want to be able to give to people. And if we're giving from an empty cup, we start resenting our friends, we start resenting our audience, we start resenting our clients. So we have to have an equal balance of both. So when people ask questions and we ask other people to do things for us, we have to present it in a way that's going to be an equal value exchange. We want to feel like someone who does something for us is also doing something vice versa and it doesn't feel like just a taking energy. So there's pretty much just a way to communicate and ask these types of questions so that someone who maybe you're asking an influencer. So maybe you're asking me, Hey Amanda, I'd love to ask you questions about X, Y, and Z so I can get this from you. Or maybe you're asking a client, I would love to show you what I have and invite you to my program so you can pay me and I can get paid. But the energy has to feel like equal. So when you're thinking about having these conversations, just think about how can this be an equal energy exchange? So let's run through a scenario where maybe you're asking an influencer or someone who you look up to admire for advice or for help a way to not maybe go about doing it that might seem to them like you're taking from them or you're just taking without actually wanting to give back is just like, hey, can I pick your brain? Can I get coffee with you? Can I do this with you? That just shows them that you're not really valuing their time. You're not valuing their advice, the time that they spent creating all of that knowledge for themselves, the time and energy investment that they have made to know those things. You're essentially just asking to take it from them without anything back. So if you just think about it in that way, how much time did this, did this spend or how much time did this person spend? How much energy, how much money, how much did they spend to be this person where I'm over here just asking like, hey, can I pick your brain? Um, it doesn't feel like an equal energy or value exchange to them. So maybe something that you can do instead is say, hey, I listened to your podcast. I love how much effort you put into it. I've already bought your course. I'm on my way to getting this other course. So it's a value, equal value exchange, but I'm really stuck here. I would love um, your support on this, but I would also love to support you in any way possible as well. I talked about this on the recent podcast I did with Lori Harder, and sometimes you don't really necessarily have anything of value to give to someone who you're asking advice of, and that's okay. But the one thing that you can do is see what are they putting their energy into that they want other people to do or focus on or watch or like or whatever. Maybe it's just thumbsing up their YouTube video or commenting or being engaged or being in their groups or communicating with them. What can you do to serve them that's maybe not, you don't have to buy their stuff or their products, but maybe you do. And that's how you can serve them because that's what they're putting their energy into. So just think of it as an energy exchange, whether it's money, whether it's time, or whether it's just your energy that you're giving back to them so they can feel fine giving it back to you and it's an equal energy exchange. Maybe it's a client and maybe it's someone that you've talked to in your DM and maybe they've seen a couple of Instagram posts of yours and you're asking them and you're interested in them giving you money for your service. So for them so far, maybe they don't know, like, and trust you just yet because they've just kind of started talking to you. Maybe they just followed you, whatever. And their energy investment with you has not been a lot. So they've only spent a couple seconds reading your Instagram posts. Maybe they've watched a few of your stories. That's not that much time, right? And you're ready over here. Like I'm ready to invest my energy into you. All you have to do is give your energy money to me first. So something that's really helpful is just communicating back and forth with this person and giving them some energy first, giving them some value before you ask for anything. So maybe you're saying, how can I support you? 
What can I do for you? How can I help you? What do you need? And take the focus off of yourself because a lot of people I see, and I've done this in the past as well, will just go ahead and start by saying and lead with, I would love to help you. I am a coach. I have this. I, 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 I have a free offer. I have an ebook. I have this. And you just want to get it out there and you want it to be really transactional really quickly, but it actually has to have some sort of energy exchange of value before you can value, um, you can have the energy exchange of money. So think about how much value are they seeing of me? How long have they spent time with me? How much value have I actually really given them in order for them to give me value? So if you're you know, just starting off on social media and you're asking someone to pay you, you have to show them and you have to give them value first. Because if you're asking them to pay you $1,000 for three months, that's just expecting them to throw value in your face without you having to do any work. So relationships require work. Any relationship with a person you admire or a person that you want to be your client requires work and you have to just show up and give the value equal energy exchange hope this video was helpful if it was give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend who needs to hear it and i'll catch you guys in the next one see ya if you're an ambitious entrepreneur and you are starting to grow your business and you want some more support you love these videos but they're not really enough for you because they're really short and you just want some more i actually have something amazing for you that i want to invite you to join i have a 50 dollars a month membership club called the ignite your fire collective and it's where hundreds of entrepreneurs come in, support each other, and then learn directly from me on a monthly basis. So imagine videos like this that you just watched that were super helpful, but imagine them being an hour long and then you get to go back and forth with me doing a Q&A and then spend time with other entrepreneurs inside of the community um, for the rest of the month. And then you can just go back and forth with each other, support each other, learn from me and from the rest of the community. Come join, I would love to have you there. I know it's going to be so helpful for you. And if you join today, you can get the last three trainings that I have done so you can get access to the archives of the last three trainings that I've done. And then you can get the ones that are gonna be coming up for every other month of the year. So go ahead and click the link below. It's amandabucci.com slash IYF collective, Ignite Your Fire Collective going to be right here in the link. I would love to have you join. Come see us inside of there and I'll catch you guys there.